Okay, fabulous you found us this morning because we're going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. And I am cleaning up some of my paint pens. So I'm going to do that with you and paint a tutorial at the same time. And what I'm doing is when we have uh, dirty pens, they leak, they blob out, right? So you can see by the red one, like this one's just not even, doesn't even want to come out. The paint stuck up in there. I'm trying to get it out. So what I do, I have a little uh, dish, like a shot glass, and I put some clean water in it. And I put my pen inside and I was actually pumping it up and down in the water. And here, then I give it a scribble and let that water just clear up the tip. But then I have lots of paint on my rock. So see what I'm doing? I just pick it up and smush it across onto another rock. I don't like wasting the paint that comes out. So first thing I do when I pick up a pen, I give it a scribble. If it works, brilliant. It's got a clean tip. It's got no dried paint on it. I'm still going to pick up that scribble and I'm going to plop it onto my rock like I've just shown you. The green's not working. I pumped it up and down a few times in my water. Gave it a scribble. That was enough to get it clean. Just pumping it up and down. And again, excess like, yeah, it's still not quite flowing as well as I would like it to. Oh, there we go. Give it a go. But again, I've got all that excess paint uh, on Bert, my, my pet rock that I keep when I'm painting. And so I'm just smush that onto other rocks like this. And I'll use that rock later. I don't know what for. Probably an ocean scene or something. Uh, this one's not shaken up enough. So I'll just, and it's a metallic. I just want to stick to the seven basic colors. So I do the usual, pump it up and down. And this is why I do it on Bert my rock this one needs shaking so I'll just do that while I'm talking to you because then I can just use my finger and wipe the paint off and put it over across onto other rocks rather than waste it and just let it sink into the paper so again I'm just giving it a bit of a blob and a smush and I I had pre-painted a butterfly on this rock I've got a couple of rocks that I just keep pre-painted on my desk for this purpose and what I wanted to do this week was just to pull out some basic pen colors. And uh, yeah, I just wanna see if it's coming out. It seems a bit dirty. Because what I wanted to do was just grab like seven rainbow colors and just going like red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, darker blue, purple, a black and a white. And I just wanted to create some rocks with you with those basic colors. Just to show you, you don't need a whole heap of colors to, to get on and um, paint rocks. You can just buy a nice, easy, cheap set of pens. Not cheap as in cheap quality, just inexpensive because they only, it's only a 12 pack or a 10 pack of pens. But uh, these particular pens, when I pulled out the colors, I haven't used them for months. So they might have some dried paint on the tip, uh, anything like that. And so what I've got to do is to clean those up. So this is how I give my pens a quick clean, okay? If you've got a really big blobbing problem and everything like that, then you need to take the tips out and soak them. And I have got a whole section on how to use your paint pens on our website. And in there, I show you how to do a proper full soak of your pen tips to get them back to normal. But a lot of people like to blame the pens. But you can see just in you know this video, which probably won't even go for five minutes, how I just cleared off seven paint pens and I've created a rock at the same time. And here I'm just, you know, redefining all the edges, bringing back that butterfly image. But yeah, I'll have about three or four rocks at the head of my table, which I'll either put a little pre-design on it like the butterfly, or you could see throughout this video, I pulled in a second rock. It had no image on it. I just started wiping paint on it because I might write some text or do something on that later. Um, so you can see here, it's just this, turned this um, a job I had to do. I had to clean up my paint pens to, to do the tutorials for the rest of the week. But you can see here, it's just um, turned into a gorgeous rock. So 
I did two jobs at once, painted my rock, cleaned my pens. And if you've got any questions about how to do that, please jump onto our Facebook group today or any day. Come and ask questions. I'm more than happy to help you. And I'll catch you there at Reef Rocks Free Workshops. Have an awesome day.